Hello everybody, we'll be doing a small project using CNN uh, for image classification. We'll use a very famous data set, CIFAR, okay, CIFAR 10 data set. It consists of 60,000 images of 32 cross 32 size of 10 classes. So these are the possible classes, airplane, automobile, bird, cat, deer, dog, frog, horse, ship, truck. These are the 10 classes of images and we have 60,000 images, each of 32 cross 32. Okay, this is a data set. Feel free to download it from here. Okay, you have various versions for Python, Mat MATLAB and others. And you have other version also that is 100 class. You can see this. So you have all these varieties here. I'll be using the CIFA 10 version for 10 out of 10 classes. Okay, so we'll be using Keras for this. Okay, which makes our deep learning algorithms implementation really easy. So, CIFAR 10 dataset comes integrated with Keras. Okay, so what you can do is Keras.dataset import CIFAR 10. It will take a while for downloading the entire stuff, but it will uh, it will download it completely. After that, we have NPUtils, sequential models, and all these uh, uh, APIs that is there in Keras. We'll understand as we use them. We'll understand why is what for okay so here let's understand how these images are represented each image is of 32 cross 32 and uh, number of channels that is rbg is 3 so that is why each image will be represented as 32 cross 32 cross 3 right so if you, if you dump an image you will see 32 cross 32 cross 3 uh, uh, cube size which contains all the information about that image as we have seen earlier we will have a batch size of 128 here Number of epochs, we are doing 20. Number of classes, 10. Verbose, how verbose should the output be? Validation split 0.2, that means 80, 20. So it will train the model with 80 and validate the model with rest 20 of it, okay? And optimizer that you are using here, here is RMS prop. I will not go in details into this. Let's use it now. We'll first break down the data into train and test. Okay, that is what load data is doing here. It is breaking down the data into train and test, as you can see here. So training data consists of 50,000 samples, uh, okay, of 32 cross 32, and test data consists of 10,000 samples. Okay, first thing that we need to do is the classes are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? We need to convert this into vector. So that is what this guy does here to categorically converts this number into a vector okay so y train x train it will be a vector here and for example if you are doing a, a dog the dog is one two three four five so fifth vector fifth element will be one rest of them will be zero that's how the representation would look like okay this is the first stuff okay now the second thing is uh, for image uh, related stuff it is always good to convert the pixel values which by default will be between 0 to 255 between 0 and 1 okay so what you are doing here first you are converting that into float so that you can handle do this operation then you are dividing by 255 okay as you can see this here so that the image values the pixel values are between 0 and 1 so that the algorithms works well now then we are trying to create a very very simple model okay without getting much into details and the accuracy that we get here is not the best okay it's a very simple model just to understand as we will gradually we will try to add more layers add more complexities i will improve the result and i will show you what is the state of art accuracy for image classification that is something around 99 i guess 97 so you can check that out from this link okay so you will see all the research so it is 96.53 that is the state of result okay so you can see the you know tuning they have done and what has happened over the years this is a good page for having a check on what are the results on the latest accuracy kindly you know uh, bookmark it now we have uh, uh, we are creating a model here so we are creating a sequential model so in initializing the model type as sequential that's what we're doing in the first line next time we are creating a convolutional layer okay with the kernel size or the filter size of 3 cross 3 that's what we're doing here and number of elements in the convolutional layer is 32 padding is same okay which tells you that you know what is the padding size uh, then the input shape that is the size of the data is image rows image column and image channels this is the input shape of it Okay, then uh, this is the activation function that is applied to this layer, ReLU. Max polling, you know, the type of polling that you're doing is max polling. So two cross two, it will find what is the maximum value among that two cross two and it will represent that in place of two cross two. 
okay and this is the dropout dropout and ensures how many time you are trying to recalculate the weight of a particular uh, uh, um, uh, connection okay so 0.25 we'll try to calculate it four times and based on that you'll find the average out of it okay so this is the this is one convolution layer, only one convolution layer with max pulling and dropout that you have enabled here and relu as a activation function for this particular layer the next thing is you need to flatten it out okay flatten it or what you have a convolution layer. the next thing that you're doing here is you are actually uh, creating a dense layer out of it okay dense layer means each element is connected to all the other element before and after that layer okay so we are creating a dense layer that is what platen does here basically okay so we are creating a layer with 5000 uh, 512 units and this is the activation function that is working on this this is a dropout and this is again we are creating a dense layer of nb classes this is precisely because our output will have 10 classes either cat, dog, aeroplane, all one of these possibility. So you have this second large, last layer as this dense layer with five, 512 units and last layer as 10 units. Okay. And we are applying softmax because this is multi-class classification in this case. Okay. This, this, if you dump the model summary, this is what it looks like. You have a convolutional layer okay you have a activation layer max polling layer dropout layer flattening and here is the number of parameters so in this case you can see the total number of parameters are something around 42 lakhs okay okay now uh, we want to execute this so we need to configure few more things so we are first we compile it we compute and we assign the loss function categorical cross into entropy since it's a classification optimizer whatever we have configured above and this is the matrices using which it will be computing the loss we are now training the model x train y train y train is your target information the class information batch size is 128 in this case uh, in number of epochs we have configured 20 validation split 0.2 verbose one in this case okay and uh, we want to see how good is our algorithm so we can call this model or evaluate with test data it will give us the accuracy how or the score of it okay now if you run this okay if you run this we'll continuously see this logs happening it will take a while so you know add a word of a caution it will take some time to execute this okay so we we saw that we started with 39 percent accuracy and with something around with 20 iteration we could reach around 67 percent accuracy okay so of course this is not the best accuracy for this model we we'll learn it in the further sessions how to improve the accuracy but this is one case now we want to see how do we use this model to predict we'll pass it a cat's image so we'll download it from google i will pass it a cat's image and it will predict a cat for it so what we did is we downloaded this cat and a dog okay so this is the cat here as you can see yeah you can see this small cat over here it is of 32 cross 32 you can do a google search for 32 32 32 cross 32 image find it over there and you're passing it over here okay cat you are reading this file as uh, with im read resizing it to 32 cross 32 and then doing the prediction over here and you can see three so this is cat dog okay so so one two three this is cat here okay so that is how it would work okay you can try putting in different frog uh, horse shape truck whatever you, you you try over here it will tell you what this class belongs to what this image which class this image belongs to okay so that was a brief uh, you know uh, a small project which is using cnn and doing some image classification we can actually improve this accuracy to around 85 percent with uh, with very easily without just adding few layers and few uh, dropouts few um, uh, by changing the cost function a bit here and their optimizer a bit here and there we'll see as we learn further okay thank you